New per act transformer neural network for hundreds of robotics task variations. The Perceiver Actor Multitask Transformer for Robotic Manipulation is an end to end behavior cloning AI agent that can learn a single language conditioned policy for 18 RL bench tasks with 249 unique task variations. With per act, one multitask transformer neural network can be trained from scratch on seven real world tasks with just 53 demos in total. Transformer neural networks have revolutionized computer vision and natural language processing with their ability to scale with large datasets, but in robotic manipulation, data is both limited and expensive. So, can we still benefit from a transformer neural network with the right problem formulation? The researchers investigated this question with PERACT, a language-conditioned behavior cloning agent for multitask six degrees of freedom robotic manipulation. The PER-ACT AI encodes language goals like Open the Bottom Drawer and RGBD voxel observations, which are units of graphic information that define points in three-dimensional space with a perceiver transformer. PER-ACT then takes this information and outputs discretized actions by detecting the next best voxel action. Unlike frameworks that operate on 2D images, the voxelized observation and action space provides a strong structural prior for efficiently learning six degrees of freedom policies. The results show that per act significantly outperforms unstructured image to action agents and 3D convolutional neural network baselines by 2.8 times for a wide range of tabletop tasks. Researchers found that per act is able to achieve greater than 65% success on simple short horizon tasks like pressing hand sanitizers from just a handful number of demonstrations. The most common failures involve predicting incorrect grip or open actions, which often lead the AI agent into unseen states. Overall, the experiments with both simulated and real-world tasks indicate that the right problem formulation, such as detecting voxel actions, makes a substantial difference in terms of data efficiency and robustness. While per act is quite capable, extending it to dexterous continuous control remains a challenge. Per act is at the mercy of a sampling-based motion planner to execute discretized actions and is not easily extendable to n degrees of freedom actuators like multi-fingered hands. The researcher's next goal is to scale up robot learning with transformer neural networks by focusing on diverse rather than narrow multitask data for robotic manipulation. Simple Recon 3D Reconstruction Without 3D Convolutions Simple Recon could be used in future augmented reality and metaverse applications for making 3D virtual environments with both ease and speed. The batch size 1 performance is 70 milliseconds per frame, which makes accurate reconstruction via fast depth fusion possible. Traditionally, 3D indoor scene reconstruction from posed images happens in two phases, per image depth estimation followed by depth merging and surface reconstruction. Recently, a family of methods have emerged that perform reconstruction directly in the final 3D volumetric feature space. While these methods have shown impressive reconstruction results, they rely on expensive 3D convolutional layers, limiting their application in resource-constrained environments. In this work, they use the traditional route and show how focusing on high-quality multi-view depth prediction lead to highly accurate 3D reconstructions using simple off-the-shelf depth fusion. The researchers propose a simple state-of-the-art multi-view depth estimator with two main contributions. One, a carefully designed 2D convolutional neural network that utilizes strong image priors alongside a plane sweep feature volume and geometric losses. Two, the integration of keyframe and geometric metadata into the cost volume which allows informed depth plane scoring. This method achieves a significant laid over the current state of the art for depth estimation and close or better for 3D reconstruction on scan net and seven scenes, yet still allows for online real-time low memory reconstruction. The key contribution is the injection of cheaply available metadata into the feature volume. Each volumetric cell is then reduced in parallel with an NLP into a feature map before input into a 2D cost volume encoder decoder. Finally, there is also an image encoder specifically used to enforce a strong image prior when propagating and correcting depth estimates from the cost volume throughout the frame in the cost volume encoder decoder. Google AI introduces a machine learning generated sensory map called Principal Odor Map, abbreviated as POM, which allows for the prediction of odors from unseen molecules. Molecules disperse in the air, travel to our nostrils, 
and then bind to receptors to produce odors. There are billions of chemicals that could create an odor, so it's difficult to classify or predict which molecules will create a particular odor. For a long time, researchers believed sensationalized maps would help in solving this problem. Because molecules are more complex than photons, mapping smell is extremely difficult. Data collection requires physical proximity between the sniffer and the smeller, and the human nose has over 300 sensory receptors that detect odor. Google A has launched a principal odor map, which locates the point in high-dimension space that corresponds to the vector representation for each odorous molecule in the model's embedded space. Because pairs of scents that are perceptually identical can be found very close together in the principal odor map, it also acts as a sensor map. Principal odor map can also detect and anticipate new compounds that emit scents. The research team investigated the artificial intelligence model's capacity to accurately forecast the smells of molecules that had never been sniffed before and were very unlike the ones used to train the AI model. In order to achieve this, they compiled the largest database of odor descriptors for unknown compounds. Experts at the Monel Center trained panelists to give ratings to 400 compounds using 55 unique labels, such as minty, that were chosen to be both comprehensive and specific. The model's forecasts were more consistent with consensus than average panelists, and it performed above average in predicting odor based on molecule structure. Principal Odor Map also performed well in other human olfactory tasks such as odor intensity detection and similarity detection. It can also be used to make educated guesses regarding the scent of billions of unknown chemicals, which carries important implications for the flavoring and fragrance industries. Following Principal Odor Map's success in predicting human olfactory perception, the team investigated predicting the olfactory perception and brain activity in animals too. The results showed that the map accurately predicted the sensory receptor, neuron, and behavioral activity of most animals studied by olfactory neuroscientists. Researchers compiled information on metabolic reactions across a diverse range of species, and the map structure was found to be very similar to that of metabolism. Principal Odor Map encapsulates some of the most fundamental principles in biology and also shows the relationship between olfaction, the organization of metabolism, and the natural world. The team also retrained Principal Odor Map to fight the epidemic of mosquito-borne diseases, which resulted in the artificial intelligence model being able to predict the mosquito repellency of any chemical molecule. Their model was tested with entirely new compounds, and more than a dozen were found to have repellency that is at least equal to DEET, which is the main ingredient in most insect repellents. The team hopes that their research will help improve the understanding of how to make and smell food, monitor the environment, and identify animal and human diseases.